Welcome back. All right, Hope where's the LCS one? Well. Double lift's coming back, right? Where is he? Here he is. Fog. Let's go, man. Tenacity closer, Bjergsen, double lift, Busin. Hope you're doing well, King. They got our T, so we're pretty good. Miss you. Hundred T's were pretty good. Nuke the coach, underrated pickup. Marin, full Korean. Pog, let's Actually, go, TL man. will be pretty good as well. Actually, hundred dude, LCS is. I can't believe this happened though. I can't. Pog, let's I just... go, man. <laughs> One of the best AD carries in the LCK. Probably could join one of the top teams in the LCK. Maybe even a top LPL team. Fork, let's go, man. Goes to FlyQuest. This guy better be getting fucking absolutely stacks on racks on fucking cracks. Like, this guy was so fucking insane. I can't believe he's gone to FlyQuest. If you asked me after his, if you, after his performance where he would go, the last place I would expect is FlyQuest. This series against uh, DRX, he was griefing. But every other series, this guy was so 1v9 oh, against everyone. Go, it was disturbing. This guy was Hello, Cedral. easily you, bro. second, if you not the best AD in the, LC in the LCK. Please, what do you think about a Chelly? And then I saw, I saw this and I was like... Pog, let's go, man. Mm. Oh, my God. Welcome How have they done it? They've taken Summit three. back from the LPL. They've taken a World Championship jungler. They've taken Prince. Like, Vikla. Pog, let's go, man. How have they done Welcome it? Welcome back, my dude. Hope you're doing okay. Everyone was telling me... Everyone is running away from Viper. <laughs> okay, shut up. Everyone was telling me that uh, LCS's budgets are Pog, way lower. Because, go, you know, the start of the year, they're like, Hey, guys. Return um, of the king. Hey, investors, hey, Worlds is in NA. If you give us a lot of money, we can, like, get our teams on the big stages in NA and you can watch them and it'll be really cool. And none of them, none of them got out of Pog, groups. So go, then man. all of them were like, why am I spending so much money if I can't even see my teams on the NA stages? I'm going to cut the budgets. And now you've cut the budgets, right? And the rosters are better than last year. Thoughts? Pog, let's go, man. Thoughts? Less than three. The rosters are unironically better than last year. Like, Dignitas, I don't know what's going on in Dignitas. Could be good, could be a fucking train wreck. Pog, but go, on man. paper, not bad, you know? Not bad. Sweet, Licorice, sweet, sweet. River, and Gory. Not, yeah. F Impact, Spica, Vikla, Prince. Okay. You know? TL's five Pog, Koreans. EG has someday now. C9 picked up Diplex. 100 Thieves has double lift in, in Björk. Like... Oh, this is a much easier thing to read. Oh my Pog, god, thanks for the link. Go, man. That's much easier to read. I don't know, everyone's basically just importing okay, mid-jungle. Everyone's like, need mid-jungle, need mid-jungle. And if you have a resident mid-jungle, you import top. That's basically what happens, by the looks of it. Pog, let's Which go, makes sense. <clears throat> it's already been five months. Likewise got a new owner that's really rich. Oh, that's good. Hey, yo, fucking cash out, baby. Cash out. NA is gonna be Pog. Yo, what's up, Freeze? How are you doing, buddy? Pog, let's wait, go. Wait, which man. roster is Freeze in? Is wait, where are you at, Freeze? Which roster hey, are you Cedral, in? Hey, can't believe it's two years already. I still remember you, baby, raging at Pokemon games in the Excel team house. Oh yeah, fucking Pokemon. Pog, EG, let's go, man. you're in EG. Oh, EG is pretty stacked. I don't know. I think Pog. the rosters are better than last year. I'm just gonna say it. I mean, it's probably because there's more Korean players, but I mean, who am I to say? You know. I think Summit will probably be Pog, let's go, man. Summit will be the Summit will be the best top laner in, in the He's LCS. Back. Also, I had a I had a thought last night, okay? I had a thought. Imagine a world welcome back, thanks bro. Pog, let's go, man. Imagine a world where T1 won XDD. worlds. They won that game five, you know, they closed it out. And now Pio6 lost the world finals. And Everyone is gonna blame Piosik. Let's go, man. If he didn't, if he hit those smites, they would have won the game. Okay, you know? Pedro. He, they would have won worlds. Where do you think his career would be? Do you think he would get a team next year? Because that's the problem. Public perception is so strong, and if you get blamed and you're the scapegoat Pog, for absolutely go, everything, then I feel like you would be forced hey, or like have so much public back, pressure that Pedro. I don't know if you'd ever you. get a team. I don't know if you'd ever get a team, but he won.
and I think it's kind of overlooked how well he played, oh, to be honest. Go, if you man. if you take out the smite from his equation, welcome back, Pedro. I think he played pretty well, to be honest. Yeah. So yeah, TL has five Korean speakers and a Korean coach, Marin, right? So the oh, thing is, let's go, man. It's good for the league because this team is really good. Hi. But it's also good for the memes. Because if, L if LCS wins with TL, then they're just carried by LCK, right? The memes are great. If this team goes to Worlds and gets out of groups, Hawk, does LCS really get out of groups when you've got two Korean Return world champions on it? Get approved. Uh, uh, two Korean world champions on it? Do they really count as an LCS team if they get out of groups? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And you know the beauty of all of this is? When Piosik and Summit get their green cards in a few years' time, you can import, uh, you can import Showmaker and Ruler, and boom! Even more chance to win worlds. And the cycle continues forever. Until you get five world championship Koreans. And boom. NA wins worlds. London Spitfire. All over again. Core has been in the US for like five years and focus on developing NA talent. I mean, Core is the goat of, the, uh, goat of NA. I wonder, what, I wonder what would happen if Core never went to NA. Because that guy's even part of the... Um, He's even part of the council, isn't he? To, uh, Pog, let's go, man. The, the fucking, what is it called? The LCS council, whatever. Player council. Anyway, 100 T's will be cool. I'm excited to see Tenasty. I think Tenasty is really good. He'll pop Pog, off. Let's go, man. What else? Diplex. See, the okay, Diplex Pedro, thing. Happy the goat is back. Diplex will be fun, but this guy can only play melee mids and Ari, so. <laughs> well, not only, you know, but like this guy. Was it in spring his guy was, his champ pool was just wha whack or was it last year? I remember seeing his debut in spring, was it last year? This guy's champion pool was crazy. He was playing like fucking Cho'Gath. Yeah, here it is. Kiana, Diana, oh, Lucian, go, Kled, man. Galio, Pantheon, Cho'Gath, Set, Ziggs, Olaf, Welcome Master Yi, Kogmo. This guy comes into the German Prime League as a mid laner and he just starts busting out these champs. And I was watching the Prime League and I was like, wait... This guy goes down like 14 CS every game and just runs around killing everyone. Like, <laughs> this guy, look, look at his builds, man. This guy just, <laughs> this, Talk, this guy was the man. biggest psychopath ever. Hello, it was Mr. so fucking Streamer. funny. He was like Doimby on steroids. Your mid laner says like, pick me Cho'Gath, pick me Kled, pick me Kiana, pick me Galio, pick me Master Yi. I guess he changed over the last few years. He picked up some control mages, but this guy can play anything. Like, I don't know how many unique champions he's already played, but like he plays everything by the looks of it.